So, good day guys, my name is Mbumelelo. Go by the name of Mangaba, <coughs> but you can call me Pumi as well. So basically I'm from Dine with Kailicha. And a brief about myself, I'm a 22 year old that's currently studying at City Varsity doing my journalism. And me and a couple of friends had always had this idea of kind of having a buffet in the hood. So bringing people outside of the hood and eating a, a gas. So how Dine started, we met a couple of students from Denmark by a school called KS Pilots. So we met them at 75 Harrington. At, it was one of uh, similar events to these. So we kind of shared ideas of how they can come into our comfort zone and stuff. So instant friendship and they were like, yo, we want to chill with you guys more. So from there, it was a matter of, okay, come and chill, but don't, don't come and walk around the township like people have been doing. So it was a matter of come and eat like we eat on a daily basis, how your mother would come from work 6 p.m. and cook dinner for the entire family. So that came and we started Dine by doing that. And Dine was, is a conversational dinner which brings people from different backgrounds into the hood. So how we do this, we basically, it, it's a conversational dinner that is designed in a menu form that, that starters is the introduction where a barber would get to know Mbumelelo and Mbumelelo will get to know the next person. And the main course is the implementation phase where, no, sorry, the main course is the main theme. So if we're talking about education or sustainable ways of, 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 of living, then we'll break that down into its simplest form. Then the dessert is the implementation phase. So since you've come all the way from wherever you're from into the hood and spoke, what do you do about what you've spoken about? So that's the main reason. But also it was also breaking the divide between the haves and the have nots, like 22 years of democracy and still there's segregation and a lot of divide and breaking the misconceptions that we all have about one another. So that has been going on, started two years ago and we have done more than 15 dines. So it's Dine with Kailicha, Dine with Lavender Hill and Dine with Guguletu at the moment. And it had brought about more than 500 people yeah, within these townships. And the way I like to put it, it's a matter of put, p bringing people into an uncomfortable situation and by the end of the night make them feel comfortable. So I would also like to play a video as well, just to show you a snippet pic of how Dine is. It's, so the, the dinner is, is divided in separate households. So each household would accommodate roughly 11 people, including the host and the co-host and the mother, the father, and probably the kids of the household. And so as guests, there'll be seven guests in the house. So during the introduction, you'll get to, to, to hear a short story about the mother or the family, but it's not a matter of you coming all the way from Sea Point and asking how is it live, how, how is it to live in Kailicha. It's a matter of kind of changing and meeting like-minded people in in a place where you never imagined you could. So it's on YouTube the movie or it's on YouTube, yeah. Okay. So it's down with Kailicha on YouTube. Sorry that was short. <laughs> I'm really sorry. H. H A. Let me do a thing. A then. <laughs> so? Oh, sorry. I have to get used to those words. Yeah. yeah. So, almost. Dine with, not in. Oh, okay. okay, there we go. It doesn't work. Okay. So, yeah, it's like a. Oh, a my name is Chris. And okay. So so yeah, that's not Chris. Blah, 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 blah. blah.
So yeah, second part. So the food that is prepared on the dine night, the food is prepared by our mothers. Some of the food, like umoshon pakot, but the main people that cook are are young chefs that are aspiring to become professional chefs. So as we as we saw, there at, at times there is entertainment. Even the entertainment that is 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 there are those are young aspiring artists that want to become the next Drake or whatever. So. Like, like it's a matter of having an ecosystem of and social enterprise keeping the ecosystem within Kailicha. The transport that picks up people wherever the meetup spot is, is our taxi drivers from Kailicha. So it's not a Hilton Ross bus that comes in and puts people in Kailicha. We want people to feel the authenticness of, 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 of a day in a hood in a way. So yeah. So we've also gotten like some guests that would want to sleep over. But he, yeah, that's, we are still trying to find ways of that. Like Airbnb college. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's me in a brief, guys. I'm really sorry that was short. No, no, but you're not done yet. Okay, Sorry, I'm not done. The, the, this was the part where you were telling your story to the people. But now we can ask you questions and try to figure out, sure, sure. okay, um, any comments so far on this? Because I think it's pretty cool. What you where can we book? Where can yes, we, uh, this is for 10. Where can we book? It's a good that response. Was the thing. I, I checked Facebook to see when was the next one and I couldn't find it. And I think it was October and uh, that Yeah, there was one in Google yeah. to previously, yeah. yeah. But the next one it's either either the eighteenth or the twenty fifth of November. So how where can we book you there's a quick link that is always on the Facebook page. So you just press book and it will send you to the quick link. <laughs> So, <laughs> one of the things that you, that you have to deal with is the, the, the scaling problem, because now you're tell, talking about it and other people do it, so uh, uh, suddenly you get fully booked and then you don't have enough place. So, how do you get people, enough people in the township to, uh, to want to participate in, 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 in facilitating this cooking and stuff like that? How do we get people? Do you get, so, let's say that, uh, that 200 more people than normally uh, want to show up. You, can you provide uh, 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 for them? Mm. The, the, like the largest dine yeah, that there was, there were 85 people that came. Yeah. And that was like Titanic Mojo, <laughs> which wasn't good. <laughs> so, Titanic yeah. <laughs> so uh, we, we think the least, like uh, now what we do, we, we, we always have 50 mm -hmm. seats or so 65 seats max. Yeah. Then whoever, whoever wants to, they'll, they email us, then we'll set another dine date the following Friday. Yeah. So, but the aim is to have a dine date each and every day. But now what's happening is each and every Friday, there's a dine. So in terms of... But you're, you're already growing. You're already growing, yeah. So 200, that's like spreading it to other communities in a way. Not having it like one event, 200 people. Yeah. It's like 50, divide like four neighborhoods and divide that 50 into like dine in Lavendale, dine in Gugule, to dine in Langa, dine in Yanga East on the same day. That would be lovely. And in a way. What's, what's your biggest dream when it comes to this project? What's the best thing that could happen? What I would love to see come out of Dine is South Africans, more South Africans coming and getting to understand where, where like understanding the core value of, more especially our mothers, why they would want to, why, why, why they would so badly want to have their madams in their house as well. Kind of communicate with them in a friendship level and not the worker and I work for you. And the, the next dream is to have it in entire Africa. Entire continent of Africa. Uh, continent of Africa, yeah. So what's your first other country outside South Africa that you want to? Zimbabwe, no Zimbabwe. doubt. Zimbabwe. Yeah. So who knows somebody in Zimbabwe? Okay, we got a starting <laughs> point. <laughs> so Zimbabwe, no doubt. So if there, is there anything anyone here in the audience or the people home who are watching it uh, can do to contribute to, uh, to what you're doing? Honestly, just, just, just come to dine, yeah. Just come to dine on a serious note. Just come to dine. Okay, Kim. What were the most important lessons that you learned from starting this project and running it? Oh, from start that's a good one. Until now. Two years now, it's been running quite well. And you, uh, you're just a group of young men from the hood. I didn't know much. I don't know much about social enterprise before I started this. I've been like I've been I've been selling double shots with my for my grandma. So I, at that moment I didn't know I was an entrepreneur. So I was just selling just to put bread on the table. So 
when I came to this whole field of, oh, it's a business model, do it like this, what I've learned was always be patient and not, not always trying to rush things. Like, the biggest lesson we, we, we got was when we had our third dine, our first two dines were magnificent, amazing, where our friends came, like 30, 40, 40 of our friends came, the second one as well. But the third one, our friends had left. They were from Denmark, Switzerland. So we had like two people that came to dine. And on that night, we dined for ourselves. So it was a matter of always, always trying to knock on doors that are closed. So it's a matter of if you talk to 10 people today, make sure that you talk to 20 tomorrow. If, so yeah. I think we got to know more of ourselves. We got to learn learn more of ourselves where compared to when when there's thirty people in a dine night where it's always busy, always making sure that okay the guest has food and stuff like that. But now there was food, but there was a lot of food and few of us and we had to finish the food. <laughs> That's a so, big problem. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyone else? Any questions? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yo, yo. Free. Boom. Um, okay, let's start with. Is it also business for you guys? Honestly, it's a, it's a, we've, we've ran, ran away from the whole, oh, it's just something that we're doing for the hood. Yeah, it's a business. Cool. It's a business, 200 bucks. And yeah, you get the best experience you'll ever get. Oh, no, it be and he will be on TripAdvisor, I heard tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Because no, I think your main uh, challenge would be scalability. Mm. Okay. Thank um, you. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, what Richard was saying is there's talent everywhere and it's just about opportunity. Yeah. It was a good the quote. Townships, um, I mean, there's so much talent there, but you need to create the market and the space and people and draw people in there. I mean, you can probably link it then eventually to crafts. I don't know. Or, um, but yeah, it's, it's an amazing project. So Spread the word. Very encouraging. Mm. Yeah. Thank I, you very I, much. I, I bet you can also make money with uh, 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 training and giving speeches like this, and you can make more money on that. So, yeah. so there are a lot of <laughs> big conferences mm. all across the planet, and you can climb on stage and make money with just telling the story. And you have to, pr to, to figure out how to make it longer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Could you sell your project to other townships as well, like Harmandy and Stellenbosch? No doubt. No doubt, yeah. yeah. Lavender Hill, at the moment it was Lavender Hill, Gugule, to Kailicha. I think they were also heading to Langa well, as well. This lady from, be the, from Stellenbosch, designer. Well, and Stellenbosch, and both do this, but they don't fall under the bigger picture. It just would be amazing if you could, we could link them with Some sort yeah. of structure. I think you have to exchange information and sit down uh, one moment. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Um, what, what is your ratio um, of South Africans that attend to Europeans or tourists that attend and is it more based on tourists or do you want to use it mostly for South Africans to sort of cross those boundaries that are existing at the moment? The dream is to kind of the divide and break the divide obviously but then again you, you also need to put bread on the table. So if, if there's like 30 Europeans that I'm say, that's saying I'm coming and you get no South African, can't no. you can't say no. It's but the, the balance between practical and ideological. Mm. Yeah. So, but like if they've, they've been, like what, what we've also been trying out is saying to if, like friends of ours that come from Europe, so if, if you're coming, we don't mind you not paying like the full amount, but make sure that you bring a South African in the room as well. Yeah. So kind of having... Like when we talk about white privilege in South Africa and not lashing out to a guy from France that doesn't know Jack. So, why, why do you have more foreigners than South Africans? Are you more advertised abroad than here? How, why? <laughs> I, think, I think a lot of South Africans are reluctant eh, because of the history. And entering the township, especially at night, a lot of things may happen. So... 
Yeah. It's not, it's not because we're advertising in Europe. What's this? The big issue is, is a South African newspaper or magazine, and it, it's all over. And I, I, I think that's, why, that's the only reason they're still afraid of the township because of what they see on media, what's the sun, xenophobia attacks and stuff. So, yeah, I think that's why. They're just reluctant and don't want to break out of their comfortability or shell. Okay, well, let's take two more questions. You had a question? Yeah, it was more like an observation. I was in Langa uh, last Sunday. Ikaya open streets. Uh, yeah, open streets. Yeah, but that also was beautiful. Oh, Chris. And, and, yeah, uh, Tony and, uh, and they were with, struggling with the same. Uh, there was this lady with the... Uh, Langa Quarters. Uh, Was there as well? Yeah. I think you should sit down and invite the Uber South Africa guys to do a, 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 to, to join you. Because yeah. if the uh, Uber drivers from Cape Town have uh, joined uh, 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 your dining experience, but now you they're, they're not afraid anymore to bring people yeah. over there. Yeah, because that is such a. Mm, okay. Last question, and then so I'm going to wrap. Ask, um, you, got, you said that you set up a menu based on a certain question that you oh. be discussing. So I mean, you you discuss it, and you get to dessert, and you say it's, that's where the solution comes from. So, but I wanted to ask is, are you clearly um, focusing on like a domestic problem, or not not a problem, just a domestic issue, and um, specifically based on Kali or South Africa in the whole, and like what solution is coming from it? Is it just a like honestly, we want to change the world. <laughs> That's what we want to do. So <laughs> one step at a time. Yeah, one step at a time. <laughs> so like, okay, let me give you a practical what happened. Eh? There was there was a it was a it was a household talking about e education. So it was broken down into like the conversation is broken down into a menu form. Starters is the introduction, and the main course was education. So at the end of the conf conversation. And the implementation was, let's all have a fun day. Like there, was, there has never been a fun day in the hood or where we stay in Site C. So what came out was a fun day where there were different stalls where kids could learn how to, like snapshots, photography. There were stalls for, for a library, a small library. There was a chessboard store. There was a lot of activities happening at, at that same day. So that came out from a dying night. So... Yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't have to be how can we solve crime because that's like broad and stuff. So it's also like a networking pl platform as well. You can meet your husband there. That's, that's also something that has been happening. Okay, not husband, so like girlfriend. Yeah. Dining yeah. with Kalicha babies already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Barbara, that fucking One light. Mm. And just let people fall on it, or just so the the orchestra is very keen to get. They they obviously want more people to come to the theatre. They want to introduce classical music to, and it was fantastic. So contact them. Could be as well. Them out, but what I would suggest is get them in the streets, not in a building. You might have to change their mindsets a bit. As well, yeah. But so okay. It was phenomenal how the people reacted to it. It was fantastic. 
Thank you so much. I don't know if everybody here in the room subscribed uh, to this evening uh, via the meetup group, mm -hmm. but it's an ideal place to share contact information, stuff like that, so we know who we are and uh, where we can find each other. So I will definitely connect uh, uh, if I were you. Uh, thank you so much for uh, thank showing you, up yeah. here. Uh, I keep up the good work. I think most a lot of good things will come out of this. So thank you for sharing. For sure. um, well. <laughs>